Hey beauties, welcome back to IMTJ. This is going to be an IMTJ Home Edition. So I'm going to show you guys three cute, quick, easy little DIY baby shower pro projects. I'm currently in the process of planning my brother's baby shower. And they're having a baby girl and her name is going to be Harley. So the first project are these lollipops and lollipop stands. The colors of the baby shower are turquoise, gray, and um, I'm sorry, it's teal, gray, and lavender. So what I did was I purchased these lollipops from Oriental Trading. They had the two colors that I needed. You can personalize the monogram, so that's what I did. I ordered... Um, some letter H's to put onto the lollipops and this is how it comes. So you can see me here putting the lollipops together. You guys, this was very easy. It was much easier than um, purchasing something individually and then getting a wrapping um, personalized or put together individually. Oriental Trading is famous for personalized, quick, easy and expensive items for parties gatherings and things like that so here's step two of our first project i went to my local dollar tree and i picked up these um, gift bows and they came with the curly strings already attached what i did was i cut the curly strings off of the gift bows and i'm going to use those to kind of decorate our lollipops and you'll see me doing that here all you need is your glue gun and some scissors and you can watch how I'm going to put the two things together So you guys, I went to Michael's and I picked up two floral square foam sponges, floral foam sponges. I took two of them, I hot glue gunned them together, I purchased um, some Mod Podge and here you see me painting the Mod Podge all over the floral sponges. I put two together because I needed it to be a pretty decent size to be able to use to hold the lollipops. I also purchased a big can of um, a big um, container of glitter. We're going to pour the glitter all over the foam sponges and you'll see later on in the video how it all came together. So you guys, you're just going to sprinkle the glitter 
all over. Make sure that you cover any sections that you can still see the foam or the Mod Podge. You want to make sure that you cover it as much as possible with as much glitter as possible. So here's the completed lollipop stain, you guys. Didn't it come out really cute? This was perfect to hold the lollipops. We could easily just stick the lollipops in there. We made a cute little decorative box to hold them, and this is how they came out. Okay, beauty, so project number two. What I did was I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up four candle holders and then I went to Target and I picked up these two large vases. What I did was I took my E6000 glue and I glued the two candle holders together and then I glued them to the two large vases and I let them dry overnight. Then, from my local Dollar Tree, I picked up these bunches of white flowers. Then I went back over to Michael's and I picked up this floral uh, foam sponge ball. And we're going to create a nice flower ball to put on top of the vases to decorate the table for the baby shower. So just keep watching and see how I put this whole thing together. So you guys, this was a quick and easy project to do. The object is just to make sure that you completely fill the ball up with as many flowers as you need to to make sure that you see absolutely no um, sponge. You want to make sure that you have enough flowers. In my case, I wanted um, my flower ball to be all white, so I had to make sure that I had enough white flowers to cover the whole entire thing. I cut them down to size and as you're doing this you may find out that you need to cut the stems a little more so just make sure that you have your wire cutters because it makes it a lot easier to clip the flowers. You can make this project in as many colors as you like or whatever color you like. In this case I wanted to make them all white and um, yeah so just want to make sure that you Fill it up completely right here. I'm just checking to see where else I need to place more flowers so that I can fill it up completely. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put some more flowers to fill it in so that I don't see any of the foam. Okay, beauty. So I also picked up these um, stones from Dollar Tree. We're going to place them at the bottom of the glass vase to give it some more life. Okay, beauty. So here is the end result. This is what the vase or the vase however you want to pronounce it turned out again with the two candle holders from the Dollar Tree that I glued together then I glued them to this vase that I purchased from Target and then the DIY flower ball from the Dollar Tree and the foam ball from Michael's Craft Store So just to give you guys an overview of how everything looked at the baby shower, here's the final overview. Here is how I put everything together. This is how everything turned out, you guys. It was really pretty. Again, the theme colors were turquoise, lavender, I'm sorry, teal, lavender, and gray. Um, sometimes I used silver in the place of the gray 
these items right here you guys a lot of them I purchased from um, the Dollar Tree just kind of wanted to show you guys what the vase and the flower ball look like on the table I think it came out really pretty the end results were very nice again here's the lollipop stand that we created here are also the lollipops that we put together that we purchased from Oriental Trading. This right here, you guys, um, were the giveaways or the keepsakes from the baby shower. If you would like to see how I made those fingernail polish keepsakes, please let me know down in the description box and then I can show you guys the DIY process of how I made those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am TJ. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment you guys and I will see you beautiful people on my next video. Thanks for watching Dial Faces. Smooches!